You know, there are times when the misogyny of religion is insidious. There are times when genuinely intelligent people play their intelligence against the rights and freedoms of women. But then there are those other times when you just stare with your jaw on the floor and realize the true extent to which some people have no fucking idea what they're talking about. Which brings me to my first story of the day and an infinite well of misogyny, Kevin Swanson, the only prominent misogynist less equipped to challenge all the women to arm wrestling than Steven Anderson. Anyway, Kevin took to the airwaves this week and announced that if Hillary Clinton becomes president, it will be the final chapter in feminist war on America. According to him, Hillary's presidency would be revenge on America for Bill Clinton's affair. At least I think so. Here's the quote. They don't appreciate the fact that a woman was taken advantage of. Therefore, in order for this woman to be vindicated, she has got to prove herself by winning the power struggle over the highest office in the land. This is what defines America today. End quote. And either Swanson's a fucking loony, or he just spoiled season six of The Good Wife. Or both. But hey, Swanson wasn't the only person with a degree in talking to the Easter Bunny that drew a hard line in the sand this week. And at least the next guy is honest. Gary Dull, the head of the Pennsylvania Pastors Network, explained on a panel this week that, quote, women serving in positions of political leadership is a sign that a society is spiritually rotten and under the judgment of God. He then went on to cite 1 Timothy 2, you know, the passage Eli used to troll the protesters at Reason Rally. Anyway, he cited it as an explanation for why, quote, in God's line of authority, it seems very clear in the scripture that a woman should not be in authority over men, which would limit a woman from being the president of the United States of America or even a queen of some other particular nation, end quote. And you know what? He's fucking right. According to the Bible, he is spot fucking on. And if someone tries to tell you different, Tell him to read the fucking book, because despite Dull's dim-witted interpretation, that isn't an argument against female leadership. It's a fucking argument against using the Bible for something other than capturing bird shit. And that's why I'm going to keep telling these stories. Because next time someone tells you that their sweet old grandma would just be lost without church, you remind them that I've got at least 2,000 years of evidence that her church doesn't give the most fleeting fuck about her. And on that cheery note, I'll hand things back over to Noah, Heath, and Eli.